So one of the most, well, I guess the most recent projects, but also one project that you've been working on for a really long time is ACDC, which is probably the biggest hard rock band in, in the, the world. world. Yeah. What's it like to work with, uh, you know, a band like that, ACDC, Angus and the boys? Oh, I mean, it's incredible because, you know, number one, they're, they're just like a bunch of blue collar guys. They're, you know, they don't have any egos or any airs about them uh, when you're accepted into their their world, it, you kind of become family, and that's how they treat everybody. Everybody's brothers and sisters, and it's and it's just so laid back and cool. And then you see them go, you know, out in the studio and play. It's just jaw dropping. They are so good. Like most of the records I've worked on with them, it's all just live. They go out there, two guitars, bass, and drums, bam, and you know maybe do five, six, ten takes of the song and then pick the best one and then put vocals on it and a couple of solos and you're done like it's just it's not hard work at all but those guys are just so good and played together for so long that they they just launch i mean you can see it live when you see them live you're just like holy crap you know it's 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 incredible but uh super super nice guys uh, and now are they pretty hands-on yeah like, do they pretty get much involved, you know, you know? malcolm for sure was definitely the the ring leader but also angus angus is a little more quieter about it i guess being the the little brother the the older brother <laughs> kind of takes over <laughs> a bit more but uh i heard it was his band really like malcolm really was yeah it was his band right yeah. like he yeah. started it and he ran it yeah. and probably yeah. george oh right. malcolm and angus and he also did a lot of the songwriting didn't he yeah like yeah. he was, he was, he was like yeah. the driving force. And what is incredible um, is the fact that the band has persevered. Yeah. They chose to continue without their driving force. Yeah. You know, the creator of the band. Yeah. Um, do you think that they're still right on track? Because their music still sounds like ACDC. It's yeah. not as though, oh well, we lost our songwriter. We don't know, you know, what direction but with, to go. With them, like you, know, Angus and, and Mal would would uh, just constantly write. So Angus has got suitcases full of dats and cassette tapes and all that of, of little riffs and half songs and some full songs that him and Mal wrote. So the last couple of records has still been the co-write of, of Angus and, and Malcolm. Just those ideas hadn't been fleshed out together. Angus and, and Brendan O'Brien produced the last two or three records, have fleshed them into songs, you know, but it's still still put a part of Mal's writing on there. So, you know, Mal is still kind of overlooking the whole thing. Right, yeah. Because yeah. you've been working with ACDC, I believe, was it Razor's Edge? Yeah. Was that the first yeah. one? Yeah. I mean, that was the one, I think. Uh, did that have Thunderstruck on it? Yeah. That was a big comeback from them, for them, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. yeah. It really kind of relaunched them again, you know. Well, yeah. the Run DMC, or not, sorry, not the Run, I'm thinking of Aerosmith, <laughs> but uh, yeah. That really relaunched it for him. And funny enough, when we're doing Thunderstruck, Angus sat right exactly where you are on like a stool. Because he's a tiny little guy. He had a, 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 just lit a cigarette. He says, oh, I got this idea for for the intro for the song. So he says, okay, cool. So roll tape. And he'll start, ding ling 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 ling, ling, ling. <laughs> cigarettes going. <laughs> and he just played it through the whole song. He didn't start or stop or whatever. You know, the verse came along. He's still playing the chorus the whole song so at the end of the song you know he finished it off and uh, the tape stopped and <laughs> he had a cigarette and the big giant ass ah, he, ah, he ah, looks ah. at bruce he goes how was that <laughs> and it's probably the take right oh yeah it was one take <laughs> all the way through so if you listen to the mix it's through the whole song we just kind of dipped it in and out as it, as it went along but uh, yeah it was right exactly where you're sitting that's unbelievable i mean you know so much history